Your girl feels a little lighter, okay? A lot lighter. Because I am debt free and I'm so, so thankful. What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Erin and this is Erin On Demand, a place for entrepreneurs and content creators looking to build your brand, business, and impact. So if you're new to my channel, I'm all about owning your business, owning your life, and owning your happiness. And uh, this is definitely one of those videos where I'm going to be sharing how to own your life and your finances and how I've just really used my 20s to get ahead financially. So without further ado, I'm going to be sharing my story. A big part of this is going to be my story on how I did this and then I'm going to try to share some resources for you all. So I went to Howard University for college. I studied broadcast journalism and I minored in graphic design. Child, I don't know nothing about graphic design anymore. I hate graphic design, but that's neither here nor there. So I went to Howard University. Tuition was so expensive, you guys, but I was just so set on my college experience being at Howard and I'm so thankful that it was because nothing, no school compares to Howard University and I just, I don't know, I just felt like it was my place. And so um, I turned down scholarships to other universities because I wanted to go to Howard so bad. But I just, in my spirit, I just felt like it was gonna work itself out. So I got into tens of thousands of dollars worth of debt and honestly, when you're in high school, you're choosing your college, that's not something you think about. You're not thinking about student loan debt once you graduate. But honestly, those four years go by so fast. And then when those student loan emails start coming in, you're like, <laughs> what? And that's kind of the moment that I had. Uh, I knew I had loans, but um, I guess I just didn't realize the extent of which I had them. And I had about $32,000 worth of student loans. Um, and to some people, that's not a lot, uh, but it's still $32,000. So I was very committed to paying that $32,000 worth of debt off as soon as I could because I knew the older that I got, I was just going to keep accumulating more debt. I was going to want to buy a home and a car and, you know, have kids. And, and honestly, the older I got, I felt like the student loans would get further and further down my priority list. So after college, I decided to move back home with my parents. It was a very tough decision. I had been used to living in DC. I loved DC. I wanted to stay in DC or move to New York or Atlanta or LA or any other city besides Detroit. And um, I, I just, I ended up moving back home. I got a job at this a credit union called Michigan First Credit Union here in Michigan and I was their young and free Michigan spokester. So that was basically um, the coolest job ever, but it only paid $30,000. But I did have the opportunity to get a $5,000 bonus. So um, I felt like that job, even though it didn't pay the most out of the job, job offers I got I was able to net the most because I wouldn't have any expenses living at home because my parents said they wouldn't charge me rent so um, I was like okay even though this isn't a lot of money I can still save more money and put more money toward my student loans so that is what I did I began to aggressively pay on my student loans while I was living with my parents so I think I was due to pay like 180 something and I ended up, I was paying $500 a month on my student loans on top of saving every month. So my biggest priority during this time was aggressively pay off the debt while I don't have any expenses and not to accumulate more debt. So this caused me to have to make quite a bit of sacrifices. Um, I didn't buy a new car. I drove Gigi. If y'all are, you know, new around these parts, my high school hoopty was called Gigi because she is a gas guzzler and we still have her. My dad drives her now as his work car. I, I just kept driving her when I got back home from college. I did not go out and buy a new car. I didn't go buy an apartment so I could live on my own. Um, I didn't travel much at all once I graduated because my goal was to pay these loans off and to save as much money as possible in these early graduate years. So after my job was up with the credit union, I ended up moving back to Washington DC for another job. And at this job, my salary tripled, but my expenses 
went through the roof because DC is very expensive. I had to pay rent now. I had to pay for groceries. I had to furnish my apartment. I had to, I had lots of bills, but I was still very adamant about living within my means so that I could still aggressively pay off my student loans. Now, a big part of this is because I am so committed to being a millionaire by the time I'm 30, and this has been a goal of mine since I was in college. Um, and I just, I knew that by 30, I wanted to be a millionaire. So with big goals comes big sacrifice. And I knew that I would much rather sacrifice and be a little bit more uncomfortable, which really isn't that uncomfortable when you're fresh out of college, you've been living in dorms and like, you know, you really don't, it's not that big of a deal to be a little uncomfortable in your early 20s, you know, or in all of your 20s as it is when you're 30, 40, 50, and you have way more things to take care of. So I knew that these early years were the years that were going to set the foundation for everything that I did um, through my adult life and for the rest of my life. I always have more of the long-term goal in mind and you know the shopping the traveling the cars the you know the house those are all things that i'm now able to enjoy because of the sacrifices that i made earlier on so anyway i say all that to say that my mindset was in a i want to be debt free i am debt free and i am working toward being debt free space before this happened last year in October, my sister actually found this program that the United Negro College Fund was doing in partnership with African Pride, and it was called the Wear Your Crown with Confidence Student Loan Forgiveness Program. And y'all, when I saw it, like, I feel like my heart was just like, this is yours. And so I wrote the essay that required me to write an essay. It required um, my college transcript i had to order that i had to get um letters of recommendation i had to, it was a pretty extensive program or scholarship application process but i was like you know what this is this two days that is going to take me to finish this and you guys i literally found out about it two days before the deadline so um, i'm scrambling you know to get everything together to write this essay to do um to get the letter of recommendation and all of these things and um but i was like you know what i dropped everything that i had to do for work for those two days because i'm like in my spirit i felt like this is yours Aaron. you've been working so hard to get your student loans down and to set yourself up for a financial freedom and this is the moment that you need to pour all of that energy into it i applied and i just kind of wiped my hands clean and i was like you know what if i hear back i hear back lord if it's in your will then let it be um and i hope it is because i need that student loans to be forgiven and you guys this was around the time that Aaron on demand was just like getting i was just getting my feet wet with my business so i was in a space where like i really wasn't making a lot of money i had put my student loans in deferment i would pay little chunks of extra money that i got toward it but for the most part it was really bothering me that i was accumulating more interest and pretty much what I had aggressively paid on over the past two or three years that I had been a graduate was already like recuperated from the interest. So it really didn't even do anything. It was like I applied for that contest and I think it was June, either June or July. And we were supposed to hear back, I believe, in August. And we got this email from the organization saying they'd received over 3,000 applications and they just they were overwhelmed and they had to um, it would take a little bit longer for them to get back to the recipients well i got a call um in october i think it was october 10th of 2019 and it was the woman from the united negro college fund and she was like you won, you got the student loan forgiveness. So I literally bust out crying. I will put a clip in here of my my me telling my parents. How would you feel if I told you that all of my student loans got paid off? I would be so excited. I would be screaming. That'd be great. Well, they did. Aaron, you are freaking <laughs> kidding me. Are you I'm not joking. Aaron! 
Are you serious? <laughs> forgiveness program actually didn't pay off all of my loans um, it paid off twenty nine thousand dollars worth of my loans and I had about thirty thousand five hundred so I still had to pay about fifteen hundred which in the grand scheme of things is like nothing honestly um, and so I paid the remaining fifteen hundred dollars off and I got the letter from Great Lakes student loans saying that my loans were officially paid off I'm so thankful. Like, I am so, so, so thankful. I think that this should encourage you. This, I am not the anomaly, you guys. This should encourage you to go out there and, one, get your mind focused on paying off your debt. I think having the intention and that energy toward your goals is the biggest thing that you can do because when your mind is set on it, you know that it's going to happen. I knew that regardless of me getting the student loan forgiveness or me paying my student loans off that they were going to be paid off within the next few years because I knew I wanted to be in a specific financial space by the time I was 30. So I was already set on that. So that's the first thing that I would say is really get your mindset on knowing that they will be paid off. Um, and then the second thing I would do is look for some resources. A lot more people, a lot more celebrities, a lot more organizations are beginning to help people pay off their student loans. And um, I think that that is just so good because for me, like I've always been such a student, like a good student, but I didn't get a full ride and that's okay. Set your mind and your intention and your energy on paying your debt off. I think it really allowed me to attract that opportunity. I would just encourage you to make the sacrifice, you guys. Big rewards come with big sacrifices and the way that I look at it is whether or not you make the sacrifices now or later, they have to come at some point. I understand though that everyone can't move back in with their parents. Everyone can't throw a lot of money aggressively into their student loans depending on whatever your life looks like right now. But there can always be sacrifices made on our part that may cause us to be a little bit more uncomfortable, but the reward is so much greater. And now I'm able to purchase a home and purchase you know, a nice car and purchase the things that I sacrificed getting, um, you know, even just a few years ago. So sometimes it's not even like you're sacrificing for a super long period of time. Um, I think that the bigger your sacrifice is, the shorter amount of time you have to be in that space. So anyway, I just wanted to encourage you guys with a little bit of inspiration on my journey to becoming debt free. Uh, I am so, so happy and so thankful to the UNCF and to Af my African pride for, you know, choosing me to be a recipient. I will keep you guys posted if they do open their applications again. I checked the website. I don't see anything um, for 2020 just yet, but I know it's supposed to be a recurring program that they have. So once they do and they let me know, I will let you guys know. Absolutely. And in the description box, I will try to link any student loan forgiveness or debt forgiveness programs or initiatives that I can find online. That is what I do as well. Like I scour the internet for different opportunities for, you know, money. <laughs> so um, it doesn't have to be a student loan forgiveness scholarship. It can be just a prize, a video contest that's worth a thousand or five thousand or ten thousand dollars. Um, or an essay contest or whatever and you can commit to dumping that money into your debt so um, if you can just open up another stream of income whether that be working part-time somewhere or starting a side hustle or whatever it is so that you're not impeding on your current income or your current expenses but you are you know using a whole separate 
stream of income to pay off your debt, I think that is a great way to tackle it. Also, you guys remember to do the snowball effect. So pay off the loans with the highest interest first, or you can pay off the smallest loans first and work your way up. I've seen people do it many different ways. The way I was paying off my student loans was by the highest interest. I was trying to pay those down as much as I could, as well as if you pay extra toward your you know, whatever loans you're paying, always make sure that the extra money is going toward the principal and not the interest. That is very, very important. Um, so make sure of that as well. And those are all things that you can make sure are set in your student loan portal, depending on what student loan you have. So um, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I love you so, so much. For those of you who do find some scholarships or video contests, I will be doing a video on how I've won over $200,000 worth of contests. And um, I will share with you guys all the secrets because there is definitely a formula to winning essay contests, video contests, uh, really any kind of contest. So I will share all of my tips and secrets with you guys. I love you and if you have any questions about becoming debt free, please leave them in the comments below. I wanna know what is one thing you are willing to sacrifice to pay off your debt as soon as possible. And if you wanna be a part of my internet home, all you have to do is subscribe. I would love to have you join the fam. All right, you guys, I will see you in the next one. Peace.